Cancers and welcome back to my channel Loom and Moon Tarot. So guys, yes, I'm back in my robe. I'm, you know, I'm telling you, this thing is new and um, it's just decadent, you know? It's one of those really super soft like spa robes. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this thing. So yeah, I'm gonna wear it as much as possible. Cancers, I love you guys. I am back again to do another love update. But honestly, though, this one, I, I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen for you in July. Okay, so this is your July forecast reading, Cancer. Let's just call it that. I love you guys. Cancers, change into your bathrobes if you if you're home and you're able to do that. Change into your bathrobes. Yes. Um, this reading is for the collective and it is a pajama read. Um, it requires pajamas, right, or a bathrobe. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Um, uh, you know, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't and reverse the roles if you have to, okay? Um, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. We're growing together anyway, right? And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment, share. To, uh, if you'd like to make a donation, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And this channel is for adults only. Okay, Cancers, first of all, I wanted to jump into your energy first, okay? Because um, we, your person always comes through. What I'm seeing here is someone new maybe approaching you, all right, in the month of July. Um, but I'm seeing you working on your healing here. Some of you could be just like, doing the last minute healing really mostly what i'm seeing here cancer is you're going to be spending a lot of time in your element out in the water at a swimming pool at a lake um a lot of water sports maybe swimming you know laying by the pool um skinny dipping a lot of you could be going skinny dipping at night right kind of playing like a kid. I'm seeing a sunflower here. So really shining the light on anything that makes you happy is what I'm seeing, all right? Um, using your intuition a lot too, but um, enjoying time near water and at night. Uh, you guys could be doing a lot of stargazing. I'm seeing a lot of time outside in the month of July, okay? And it's not like you're making yourself try to finish healing. I mean, how can you judge, right? Um, it's, it's hard to tell if you're all the way healed or not because you don't really know unless you get that trigger moment, you know what I mean? So I think as part of your healing, it's just a lot of playtime. <laughs> a lot of playtime is what I'm seeing, like seriously, outside. And especially like for those of you who kind of come alive at night, I'm seeing evening hours, you know? And this is gonna add to your manifestation skills too, because while you're having fun, while you're relaxed and enjoying yourself and high vibing and you start thinking kind of of like all the things you want all the things you want to happen in your life and that th those two things together the high vibes and that concentration really pushes your manifestations like into high gear okay um and then so you're out there having fun you're you're getting out there you're making new wishes you know you've got like this is usually having hope but th that's not i'm feeling it as um you have this new found hope in the new beginning okay um yeah it, this is just like a lot of playtime, and it's as soon as you start relaxing and enjoying yourself in July, I feel like somebody approaches you, comes into your inner circle is what I'm feeling like here. And this is a union card, 
okay? This is people coming together, celebrating something solid, something that you can build a solid foundation with. I'm really seeing this as new love, new love, new opportunities, and healing and playtime is what's coming to you. <laughs> so, I mean, this is like beautiful here. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm seeing that anybody who does come close to you, you're going to be really reviewing every detail about these people, okay? And using your discernment and your intuition with every encounter. Some of you might even be a little bit nervous about dating, you know what I mean? Because you really don't know, you know, you're not really sure what's in these cups, like, you know. But someone is coming in, they're gonna be very patient. Um, I think you're gonna know, uh, you know, maybe it's gonna be how they treat your children, perhaps. But it, it's, there's going to be something about them that's going to be slow and easy and stable. Like, you're not going to have to guess with this person. Um, they're going to be very, very real with you. They're going to be interested in, you know, um, when I say supporting you, I'm not talking about financially because I feel like, you know, you're able to support yourself. I feel like you're in the Empress energy, right? What I mean by support is something that you haven't gotten enough of, Cancer, and that's like emotional support, okay? Emotional support. I, that's been something that, you know, has been lacking in your relationships people just haven't been able to open up to you emotionally really and uh, I, you know that's what you want and I think when this person comes forward to you and I feel like that you might meet them in July okay um, when they come forward like I said it's gonna be slow it's gonna be stable they're going to take their time. They're going to want to get to know you. This is going to be somebody who's going to approach you very gently. Okay? Very gently. But you're not going to, you, you know, you're not going to want to run from this person. You, you know what I'm saying? Not even the rabbits are afraid of, of all of this going on. They should be hopping away. But they're not. You know? This person's going to be very gentle and take their time with you, I think, Cancer. This is going to be somebody that you're going to be able to build a solid foundation with. This is going to be the one that's going to stay. This is going to be the one that's going to be your ride or die. Okay? Uh, this is a solid foundation. It's a beautiful card. And then on top of that, all these other wonderful opportunities coming. I mean... It could be dating, but, you know, some of them aren't so wonderful. You're going to find that out. This could be someone that you already know that kind of, you know, because you could be meeting other people while you know this person and they're getting closer to you. You may even already know who they are. Some of you don't, though. I feel like this is somebody who comes into your world, but you have to use discernment because not everybody is here to stay. You've got players in some of these options as well, and I think that's why you're like, I know, um, because remember, I said some of you are a little bit nervous, you know, about dating, the dating scene, because you really don't know what's in those cups. And you just don't want to play any more games anymore. And you know what? Why should you? Look at how happy you are all by yourself, right? Skinny dipping at like 8 o'clock at night, you know? You're just happy as a little clam. Right? I mean, look at you. Seriously, there's a sunflower right there that stands for happiness. 
you know, for real. Yeah, there's going to be communication coming in for you here. Definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you're going to be very graceful about it. You're going to take your time. You're going to be making sure that um, you're not going to accept any offers unless you know for sure that that person was sent to you by the divine. Okay, because you're on a spiritual journey. And it's really not that easy, you know, to date when you're on a spiritual journey. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not. <laughs> you know, you're, you're living, breathing, everything the divine. So communicating your spiritual your spirituality to somebody honestly maybe that's going to be the true test who's going to back you in that because you know if it if it shakes up if any of this shakes up your spiritual journey forget about it that's number 1 for you you're you're a high priestess right some of you could be spiritual healers spiritual teachers you know other tarot card readers and if anything gets in the way of that spiritual path and and the divine it's ixnay on that you're not gonna do that at all you know what i mean as i'm dancing around with the card you guys are probably getting dizzy at this point <laughs> sorry it is so late and i'm so tired um yeah. Yep. You are definitely, you're a graduate on top of it. You're not just the high priestess. Well, you graduated the last cycle um, and uh, you've entered into a brand new cycle, learning all the, le all the lessons from the last cycle. And um, you're just absolutely amazing, magnificent, powerful, strong, intuitive, and you know you're you're a high priestess here you're not going to let anything get in the way between you and the divine no way whatever your whatever spiritual path you're on whoever you get with has to has to either back it or join it or be okay with it do you know what i mean oops something just bleeped Okay, that's weird. My camera just made a, a beeping sound. Did you guys hear that? Um, anyway, yeah. You're just not going to... You're not going to let any of this crap get in the way. That's how you feel about it. You're like, I'm going to check out all of these options. Uh, options or no options. I've, I'm following the divine first. But this person that's coming in, Cancer... I feel like this is the this is this is good. This is justice. Could be a Libra. You may have a choice to make here. Or maybe this new person has a choice to you you know, you could have choices between some kind of player and, and the real deal. All these other options here, trying to figure out which one is the real Slim Shady? Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up. I'm the real Shady. Yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just imitating. Yeah, who's going to be the real deal? Who's the real one? Out of all of these people coming at you, you're going to have players and you're going to have the right one. And the right one's here. The right one's going to be here. I feel like they're approaching you in July. That's what I'm feeling like. And you're going to have a choice. But you know what? You've got the blindfold on in this picture on purpose, I feel. I feel it's because you're using your intuition. You're just using your intuition because remember, you are so attached to the divine, you don't trust anything else. You don't trust anything else. You'd rather trust your third eye 
than than the two in front of you know on in front of your face here. So you're you're just asking the divine to lead you. You're surrendering on this journey and you're being very careful to choose the people that come to you absolutely correct. One stands out. I think this person is going to like I said they're going to be very gentle. Uh, that's that's what I'm getting. They're going to be very, they're going to be very gentle and they're going to take their time because you're going to feel right off the bat that you're important to this person. And I feel like that's coming in July. Yeah, look, it's a soulmate wish fulfillment. This is you making the new wishes. Remember, this is you manifesting. And what did I say? Your manifestation skills are like, like amped up, right? And here comes your wish fulfillment. And, and a, an apology from someone too, perhaps. Or this could be a Pisces. It could very well be a Pisces. But this new person, I feel like this is someone new. This is something that you're going to be wishing for or you have been trying to manifest. Your manifestation skills are going to be really intense starting now through July. So um, I think that's when you guys will meet face to face. For some of you, this is a same sex um, relationship. Either way, I feel like new is coming and it's a soulmate, maybe even a past life soulmate. You're going to know, you're going to feel that right off the bat, some kind of comfort with this person or some kind of, I don't know, you're going to, this person may just feel like home, but it's going to be nice and slow moving, okay, is what I feel like. That's what I'm feeling. Whoo! All right, Cancers, it's heating up, man, for July. Let me tell you. All right, so what is what is your masculine energy? Yeah, still holding their feelings back, Cancer, in July. Uh, your masculine is holding their feelings back in July. I mean, you know, that's Mister Wishy Washy here, Prince or King of Cups. Um, has a lot of love for you, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, doesn't want to show it, blah, blah. Doesn't want to say anything. You know, here's the thing. You're getting your wish fulfillment and a new soulmate in July. Coming at ya. Yeah, while your person still continues to hold their love back. What else can you show me for cancer for July? Yeah, they see you as every queen in the deck okay which you are you're you're the empress here and the high priestess I mean you've really got it going on cancer okay you've got it going on look at you curvy beautiful oh you're just magnificent cancer mm, you're yummy cancer you're just yummy you're a yummy beautiful curvy ball of wishes. <laughs> Does that make sense? You are. I feel like you are your, this person's wish fulfillment though, but they know they can't get anything past you. You know, um, they know that you're very intuitive as well. I feel like this person watches you from afar, having all this love for you, but not being able to tell you, show you, you're a bit intimidating, even if they are in king energy, okay? You're intimidating. You haven't been talking to this person, and you, you've completely changed. You've become this powerful, strong, magnificent, I mean, like you're every queen in the world to this person but they're not showing you. They're juggling here. I, I kind of feel like this is a, should I approach cancer or shouldn't I approach cancer? Should I approach cancer or shouldn't I approach cancer? I mean, you know, 
in the month of June or June, July, I feel like this person is still juggling that just the idea of coming t uh, towards you. Le, 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 le. I'm studying or stuttering all over the place. Sorry. Yeah, this is not so much them, you know, juggling two people or anything like that. I feel more like this is, should I tell cancer how I feel about him or not? Should I share my feelings with cancer or not? Am I going to come towards cancer or not? How am I going to come towards cancer? Will I come toward? And the, you know what? The, the universe is like, buddy, <sighs> it's time to rock and roll. Okay. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's go time, you know? That's what the universe says. It's time for the new cycle to begin. It's time to have this new beginning. Okay? The problem is, is you are so strong. You're standing in your strength and power like... You're like the strongest person this that your your person has ever seen or witnessed ever. You are strength. And you you know your person's over here like not able to sleep at night, trapped in their mind about this crap, not knowing if they should even come to you or not. If they do, are you going to turn around and walk away? Are they even going to be able to talk to you without stuttering? They, they, they have a hard time showing their feelings already. What if you walk away? They're just overthinking non-stop, non-stop, because they know, they know that uh, you are their happiness. They do. But I think in July, your person's going to be a full aware that they've got competition. See, here comes that apology. Right back to where we started with this one. Competition, inner turmoil. Remember that should I or shouldn't I? Will I or won't I? But you know what? This is also a competition card. If they want this happiness with you, your person may have to fight for it. Because I'm telling you, your wish fulfillment is stepping into the picture for you, I feel, in July. Okay? And it's a soulmate connection. It's a soulmate connection. Your person may just miss their opportunity with you this July. Well, you know, honestly, this the whole missing of the opportunity thing started a long time ago. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised the divine is still holding the cup out here for your person. But yeah, this is them knowing that they're missing an opportunity with you, okay? Because they had you in a third-party situation, and this was a blessing, but you've got someone new coming in the picture and other options on top of that in July. In July, you're like, you know, everybody wants you in July. What the crap, Cancer? You've got like... Let's see. Yeah, you've got eight options here. <laughs> Potentially, and a player on the side here that you're not gonna that you're not gonna mess with. Yeah, you've got a lot going on. You just got it going on. You're all that in a bag of chips, okay? Your person's missing out. They're missing it because of this devil energy. They're attached to something. It's it's going to be different for for everybody, but like for some people, they're attached to some kind of addiction. For others, they're attached to a toxic relationship, you know? For others, they're obsessing over you. And they're being sexual, doing weird sexual things. Okay? Yeah, it I mean person needs to walk away from the toxicity. What else can you show us here for Cancer in July? Cancer, I um, I love the fact that new is coming in for you. Totally. 
but behind the scenes and you're not going to know behind the scenes your person is still preparing to communicate um, and but they're going to be feeling that competition okay they're going to be feeling it hardcore especially I think towards the end of July I don't see any mention of another person out here they're only focused on you and whether or not they should even speak to you because there's so much your person doesn't know there's a lot hidden here I believe from your person and um, they're scared I think you I think your person scared to, this person here is afraid to come through not the new one though however the new ones gonna gonna walk right up to you but they're gonna be very um, they're gonna be they're gonna be very gentle and slow moving okay huh? It's almost like what I'm what they're showing me is someone approaching a wild deer in the woods, okay? How slow and gingerly you would go because you know it's something beautiful and fragile. You know what I'm saying? That's how this new person is going to approach you, isn't it sweet? Right? Right? And that's what's coming up in July. All right, anyway. Anything else you can Crap, Cancer. I'm so sorry. Listen, the video cut me off, okay? But I was almost done. Okay, I was in the middle, I think, of telling you guys um, that this new person... Potato, what are you doing? Get away from the... <laughs> Get away from the camera. Sorry, my cat weighs 20 pounds and he moves furniture. Jeez. Um, okay. That's why we're all afraid of him. Guys, I am so exhausted. I can't even begin to describe it to you. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, Queen of Swords energy. Oh, I was just telling you guys, too. I'm so, oh, I'm so sorry. Potato just screwed me up in the head. Anyway, um, this new person, they're going to take their time with you, Cancer. Uh, they're they're really interested in you look at the way he's reaching out to you he's gonna be very supportive emotionally supportive cancer oh my gosh Wow you're yeah you may even be wowed you may even be wowed by this new person um, you know in the month of July cancer you're gonna be having all kinds of fun you're going to be skinny dipping in the dark. I don't know. <laughs> I think it sounds like a fabulous idea. I'm going to try it myself. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, you're going to expect people to approach you with respect. You've earned respect from the crap that you have been through. All right. You're kind of tossing the past to the wind here and just playing like a kid. But yet at the same time, you've got not really a guard up, but, you know, because you'll allow people to approach you. you. You really are a kind, sweet, loving, caring, giving person here. But you just, you're not going to allow anybody to hurt you again, okay? So everyone in the month of July, everyone, whether it's a stranger on the street or someone working in you know a store or um, a friend co-worker family member ex-lover new lover new options everybody you'll easily cut anyone out of your life in a heartbeat if they don't approach you with respect the truth they need to be real with you they need to have decent intentions and show you what they are. You're not going to guess about anybody. People really need to come to you correct. It's, you know, I'm not going to say that you're on the defense, but you're kind of defending your right to, to be approached with respect for the entire month of July. 
you know, you're, you're defending that and you're defending your right to skinny dip. That's very important here. <laughs> yes, we must defend our right to skinny dip at night. <laughs> it's very important, Cancer. Who knows? Maybe that's where you'll meet this new person. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I have no idea. But yeah, you're defending your right to skinny dip and have new love. That's right. You're an empress, baby. That's why. Yeah, you've been growing your pentacles. You're going to be very, very abundant. Something, if it hasn't already started, you're going to see a huge increase in, in your pentacles in the month of July. And you're going to be outside enjoying the sun and skinny dipping at night. Playing like a kid, but yet it's, you know, this is what I see, right? Playing like a kid and having fun and being happy, but yet at the same time, you're just prepared for communication and you know what kind of communication, you know, you'll accept, that kind of thing. It's, it's really, you're very balanced in the month of July, I feel. You're very balanced. And you're giving up to the divine. If the divine brings you somebody absolutely wonderful and, you know, you ask the divine about them and they say that that's the person for, you know what I mean? It's like you're giving, you're giving yourself up to this journey. If people approach you and play your energy, you're cutting them out, you're, you're not giving a care. Because you know the divine is going to bring you this soulmate. You know what I mean? I feel like you already know that. Yeah. You know, this new person could even be an air sign. Who will want to work on things with you, want to build with you. There's an air sign who wants to put in some work with you here. Yeah, look for that. They're, they want to communicate also. I'm seeing that um, this person, though, they put a lot of thought into what they have to say to you, you know? So, yeah, this could be somebody, you know, getting ready to make an approach or something. They want to build on this with you. Cancer, things are getting heated in the month of July. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Cancer. Things are going to start shaking. Manifestations, baby. There could be some manipulators coming out of the woodwork. Everything's kind of coming at you and you're taking it in stride because you know you freaking got this. I love that, Cancer. And you're just playing. You're playing and skinny dipping. I love it. All right, Cancers, my little water baby skinny dippers. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, listen, that's your month of July so far, right? So far. You know I'm with you pretty much every day. Uh, pretty soon it's going to be my day off, though, Cancer. So um, you will, probably won't see me in another day, okay? But anyway, listen. I hope this reading resonates for you guys. I am really super exhausted. I'm so tired, man. So I've got to go to bed. But I love you all very, very much. Thank you all for your support. I hope this resonates. Go ahead, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Help me grow. I'm going to bed. Take care of you. And peace out.